This is the partner glute ham raise. So for this exercise, you need a partner to help you out with this. In this case, Peter's gonna perform the exercise and I'm gonna be his partner that's assisting him. So it's gonna look like a glute ham raise that we've done on a glute ham raise machine, but in this case, we're using a partner. So what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna hold Peter's ankles down as he does the glute ham raise. So I'm gonna pin his ankles down here and he's gonna to try to maintain a straight line between his knees hips and shoulders as he leans forward. It's going to get to a point where he can no longer control that descent. He's going to have to go to his hands to push himself back up. All right, so you want to feel this in your hamstrings, maybe in a little bit in your glutes. You don't want to try to arch through this with your back, okay? So keep that anterior core tight, that chin tucked, all right? So I'm holding his ankles down here. Now Peter's going to lower himself slowly forward, keeping that straight line as best he can, resisting that fall with gravity, then pressing himself back up when you can no longer do so. All right, so we wanna make sure we're going down at a controlled, slow pace. Good, just like this, fighting every inch, then eventually pressing yourself back up here. So common mistakes we'll see here, people they'll go forward with their torso, but not with their hips. So we'll see a bad rep here. Leave the hips back as the torso comes forward. There you go, losing it there. You can tell it's really not what we're looking for. It decreases the difficulty of the exercise when you do it that way.